You know that intrusive thoughts can be not only thoughts, but also mental images or urges or sensations or feelings. For example, as a teenager, my most pressing theme of OCD was sexual orientation. I not only had thoughts like what if I'm gay and what if I never figure out my sexuality, but I also had images pop in my head of naked women or of kissing my friends. A common intrusive urge is the urge to turn your wheel as you're driving over a bridge and drive off the bridge. The sensation could be a random twinge or stirring in your groinal region that if you have OCD that focuses on anything sexual in nature, you may then interpret it to mean something. An intrusive feeling could be hatred. You could look over at your partner who you love very much and a feeling of hatred passes through you. No matter the presentation of the intrusion, they are the same when you boil them down. They are ego dystonic. You don't want or enjoy them. They directly go against your values. And those of us with OCD have a very hard time dismissing those intrusions as intrusive. We become determined to get to the bottom of them, figure out what they mean. Exposure and response prevention therapy teaches us to stop seeing these intrusions as threats and instead to tolerate the discomfort they bring and move on with our day.